there the other thing that's really interesting about this this modern era is we are able to work and collaborate with people in all different time zones so i find that same thing with the podcast right like i have interviews with people who are in australia all the time and we are on completely different time zones or in the uk or in israel or wherever right and so it's really such a powerful thing to have flexibility with how your day flows i mean it's much easier for us like work at home, work for ourselves types. Um, if you're in a nine to five, then you are much more restrictive in your time management. Um, but if you have the flexibility, then know when you're sleepy, know when you have energy. That's one of the big keys too, that we dive into when I do one-to-one -one coaching is like, are you most creative in the morning or are you like admin driven in the morning? I know for me, I need to get like all of the emails done first thing, all the to-do lists. And then in the afternoon, once I know everything's done, my brain can sort of shut down a bit and I let the creativity come in and I'm highest creativity when I'm like in bed trying to sleep. So there's always a notebook beside the bed, you know, and identifying these times for you throughout the day when you feel most creative, when you feel like social, when you feel like you just want to have some quiet time or some focused admin time and building your day around that can be really powerful too. Whiteboard in the bathroom is also a good idea. Yes. Love that. So I want to also clarify that when my child was small and I was doing these crazy hours, I was napping when she napped. You have to. So I, I was taking care. I wasn't running on empty. I was I was napping when she, and my schedule was around hers. And I was really lucky. She was a late sleeper. Oh, <laughs> so, oh wow. So yeah. So I just, you know, you, you make things work. There is always a way. If there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. You know, and it's a lot easier. And it's, there, I'm not going to say it's a lot easier. There are a lot more tools now. For work at home moms. I mean, it, I was an anomaly 25 years ago. We're so a, lucky. There's a lot more tools now. Yeah. And so many more of us are able to work from home, right? I think we're really shifting the culture of the workplace. It's, it's more difficult in some industries than others. Uh, but this is exactly like, it, it's so wonderful to be able to have the ability to, to break the commute, to be able to throw a load of laundry in when you're working on your lunch break, to be able, right? However, problem I'm finding with this is that people show up to their wide open day and they don't know what to do with it. And they sort of waste time and they don't know how to prioritize and they don't know how to plan. And so they feel even more overwhelmed. Whereas if in their, if they went to the office, perhaps they're scheduled check-in meetings or the client meetings or like depending on the job, right? But it's much more structured. Plus you've got the beginning and the end time. A lot of people I know struggle with the beginning of the day, getting started and the end of the day, shutting it down. Um, so there's, there's new challenges that come with this new work environment as well. It, it comes back to the calendar though. I mean, yeah. if you have a calendar, even if you don't have appointments where you talk to people, if you schedule what you need, what needs to be done yeah. and yeah, go ahead and schedule in the laundry. Yes, absolutely. You know, or, absolutely. Or do like I did and do one load, a, one load a day. Yeah. Or have a, have a rhythm that you do it right. Every morning when you're getting your, your coffee brewing, laundry goes in and when you're done your coffee, it goes to the dryer or whatever, whatever mm -hmm. works for you. But if you can work it in and sort of do that habit stacking thing, where if you're trying to do laundry every day, you attach it to a habit you already have. I mean, we all know about this from James Clear by now, but this is a wonderful way to sort of work in. And it doesn't have to be the same time every day if you wake up a little later, but it's the rhythm of the coffee, the laundry. It's not like at 8 a.m. it's coffee. The, the um, perfect example of this is because I'm in my 50s, I have this system. After I get out of the shower, I brush my teeth. And it doesn't, I, I just reach for the toothbrush and brush my teeth. So if you're wondering how am I going to habit stack, because you j just remember that you have the habits that you've already stacked, right? You When you drive someplace, you probably don't remember how you got there, but you got there because it's a habit to drive to that place, right? Totally. So, Locking the car when you get out of it is yeah, a habit. Yeah, it's a habit. So you just, you just, I think it's 54 times, you do it 54 times and it becomes a habit. I think 54 is the number. I have heard so many different numbers, but overall consistency is queen. Yes. At the end yes. of the day. Yeah, exactly.